Let's solve this first water linear differential equation. And you know the deal, because we have the x squared plus 1 in front of dy dx, right? So let's go ahead and divide everything by x squared plus 1. Let's do it right here as well. And this right here. And technically, I will also have to divide this right here by x squared plus 1, but you know it's 0 anyways. Anyways, right here, we will have dy dx. And the second term right here is a plus x over x squared plus 1. And let me put a y on the side. And this is the two terms that we want, right? I want to bring this to the other side. This is just 0, so all together on the right hand side. This was negative. Once we move to the right hand side, we will have positive x over x squared plus 1. Now we are ready. You know the p of x is this positive x over x squared plus 1. And now we can just go ahead and do the integrating factor. Mu of x right here is going to be e raised to the integral of this x over x squared plus 1 dx, this power here. Alright, e is just e, and I'm just going to integrate this for you guys real quick. You see that the derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x. The x and this x will cancel. You have to divide it by an extra 2. This will give us 1 half ln, and we have the inside x squared plus 1. And let me be slightly technical with you guys. I don't need the absolute value because x squared plus 1 is always positive anyway. So I will just put a parenthesis like that. Okay? And we don't like to have the 1 half, otherwise I cannot cancel the e and the ln. So let's bring the 1 half right here to become a power. And we will have e raised to the ln, and we have the 1 half power right here, right? And 1 half power is just the square root. So we have ln square root of x squared plus 1. And you see, this and that will cancel. Finally, the integrating factor is just this square root of x squared plus 1. Alright, interesting, huh? Anyways, let's see, I'm going to multiply everything by that, of course, square root of x squared plus 1. And we are going to do this carefully. Alright, we will have this times that, square root of x squared plus 1 times dy dx. And we add it with, okay, this times that, you know the square root and this, this is pretty much the, the insides are the same, right? So you will just have the square root in the denominator only. So once again, this and that, you will just end up with x over square root of x squared plus 1, okay? Once again, square root and the original, <laughs> the insides are the same. You just have the square root in the denominator. And let's put a y on the side like this. And this is equal to same situation. We take this times that, we will have x over square root of x squared plus 1. On the left hand side, once again, it will be the derivative of this times y. Once again, it's always going to be the mu of x times y, and that's the mu of x, right? So square root of x squared plus 1 times y. Double check if you would like. So we keep the first function times the derivative second, we have the dy dx. And we add it with, we keep the y, right, the second function, and we multiply by the derivative of this. And if you differentiate this, I will show you guys this real quick right here. When we want to differentiate square root of something, this is going to be first, 1 over 2, square root of the same thing inside, right? So we put down x squared plus 1, and then don't forget to do the chain rule. We have to multiply by the derivative of x squared plus 1, which is just a 2x right here. And of course, the 2 and 2 cancel, and this is going to give us x on the top over square root of x squared plus 1. So you see that when we differentiate square root of x squared plus 1, this is the same as this right here. Huh. So you know this is correct, and we will just put down this is equal to x over square root of x squared plus 1. And now we can integrate both sides. So we can cancel, cancel, and we integrate this as well. On the left hand side, we'll just have this, square root of x squared plus 1 times y, and don't worry about putting down the plus c. This is equal to the integral of this, x over square root of x squared plus 1. Look at 
When I differentiate square root of x squared plus 1, we get that. If I want to integrate this, I will get that, right? If you want to see the video of how to do the use substitution, it's in the description as well. But anyways, integrate this, you will get square root of x squared plus 1. And here, we will put down a plus c. 1c is enough right here. I don't have to label c1, c2 later on. Because you will see, I will just divide everything by square root of x squared plus 1. Divide this by square root of x squared plus 1. And divide this by square root of x squared plus 1. This will cancel. And the y will be by itself already. This is going to give me 1. And I will just write this down as plus c over square root of x squared plus 1. And we are done. That's it.